this is practice now 6 from chapter 8.2. Given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PRQ, find the values of the unknowns in the triangles. Now, there are a few unknowns here. We need to find the length of BC. We need to find the angle of angle QPR. Okay, so the, one of the first few things you can do to compare two similar triangles would be to actually draw them out in the same orientation so that it's easier for you to do a direct comparison, uh, especially for their angles. And then the ratio of the lengths can be easily compared as well. So if I were to keep a triangle ABC, okay, so I'm going to draw a smaller version of triangle ABC. So ABC is similar to PRQ. Okay, so going by the name, A corresponds to P. So this vertex is P. B corresponds to R. So this is R. And C corresponds to Q. So this is Q. So let's check triangle A. B, C, similar to P, R, Q. Okay, so uh, let's fill in some of the information that uh, they have given us. So I know that P, Q is 4 cm, Q, R is 2.8 cm, and the angle that they are looking for, X, is actually here. Okay, so this will help me um, do a direct comparison for the angles. Okay, so to find the unknown value of x. So x is actually angle RPQ, which is the same as angle BAC, which is 30. Okay, so the value of x is actually 30. Now, to find the length of y, okay, I'm going to do my ratio now. So 4 is to 6 is the same as 2.8 is to y. So 4 is to 6 is to y. So y over 2.8. Since I want to find y, I would prefer to write y as the numerator. So y will correspond to 2.8. At the same time, the ratio is the same as 6 is to 4. Okay, notice that y and 6 are both values from triangle ABC, whereas 2.8 and 4 are both values from triangle PRQ. And then um, it has to be the corresponding length corresponding lengths. Okay, so um, the corresponding lengths should have the same ratio. So to solve this, I will do my cross multiplication. So uh, 6 over 4 times 2.8 will give me my answer. I will get 4.2 cm. Okay, so the value of y is actually 4.2. Okay, so I just need to sum it off. So x is 30, y is 4.2 for this question 1. We'll now go on to question 2. Given that the quadrilateral ABCD is similar to the quadrilateral PQRS, we need to find the values of the unknowns. So I have four unknowns here for this question. Now I'll do the same as what I have done for the first question, which is to first draw the two quadrilaterals uh, in their corresponding uh, orientation. Okay, so if I were to take the smaller version of A, B, C, D, okay, so quadrilateral a, B, C, D is similar to P, Q, R, S. So I will do 
this. Okay. Then I would now translate the corresponding values over. So uh, PQ is 3. So I will write 3. QR is 5.4. So this is 5.4. PS is Z. And then I have my angle R here at 60 degrees. Okay, so once I have translated everything, I make sure that they are correctly translated. I can now solve for the unknowns. Okay, so, um, oh, sorry, I have missed out one. Uh, P here is Z. Okay, so now um, I will start with the easier ones, which is to get the unknowns of the angles. Because uh, even though the two quadrilaterals are similar, uh, the angles that are corresponding are actually equal. So I can very quickly get x is 100 and I know w is 60 when I compare the two quadrilaterals directly. Okay, then now I have to go on to the more tricky ones, which is to find the ratio of the lengths first. Okay, so... um. Let's try and find the length of Z first. So I need to take um, Z over the corresponding length 6. And then I have a ready-made okay, ratio, which is 3 over 4. Okay, so uh, if I have the shorter length over the longer length, the other side of the equation, I also have the shorter length over the longer length. So now Z is simply 3 quarter of 6, which gives me 4.5. Okay. Now, then I will go on to find Y. Okay, so Y is on the larger quadrilateral. So y over corresponding side 5.4 is now 4 over 3. Okay, so if I were to do my cross multiplication, it would be 4 over 3 times 5.4, which gives me 7.2. Okay, so I have all the values of the unknowns now. Okay, um, so I will just write it in. So therefore, x is 100, w is 60, y is 7.2, z is 4.5. So this is my answer for question 2.